As our region re-emerges as a leading center of energy-related solutions, we're creating opportunities for plenty of smart people, and we're going to need them especially in the transmission and distribution space, there's enormous opportunity to save energy by using it more efficiently. And both of our next guests are on the front lines of making all of that happen. Samuel Gonzalez is a marketing engineer for Eaton Corporation's electrical sector in Pittsburgh. And Allison Evans is proposal manager for Wesco Distribution. Welcome. Good to see both of you. So, well, I'm going to start with you because uh, you're not from here. Uh, you found yourself in Pittsburgh working for Eaton. How did that come about uh, in, the, in the first place? How did you find Eaton? Well, uh, first of all, let me start. I'm raised and born from Chihuahua, Mexico. I, I went to school in the University of Texas at El Paso. Uh, I graduated as a mechanical engineer. And in the, in the university, I got the opportunity to meet with Eaton employees. They were recruiting. And it's how I start working with Eaton uh, in a development program. I start with the Eaton a Leadership Development Program. I, I moved to Asheville, North Carolina to work as a design engineer. From there, I moved to Lincoln, Illinois as a production supervisor. And in my third assignment, I got the opportunity to come here to the electrical headquarters in Moon Township. And I start working as a marketing engineer. I graduate from the program, and once I graduate, I like the city. I like the opportunity to be in here working in, in a huge company uh, with a lot of future. And I got the, to start working with the smart grid and all the products at, at, to save energy at your home with the smart energy manager. And as I'm working as a product engineer in there, and it's how I came here. Very exciting. I want to come back to you a little bit and find out more about what you're doing exactly and why you're so excited about it. But, Allison, you're a native, right? I am. But I a boomerang, am. you kind of came home to work for Wesco, right? I did, yeah. I was in the Peace Corps for two years overseas in uh, Cape Verde, Northwest Africa. And I came back and I went to um, a University of Pittsburgh job fair, and I met a recruiter from Wesco there. And he told me about a management uh, leadership program that they were starting at Wesco. And so I, I got um, accepted into that program. You didn't have an engineering background, no, right? No, I was know, business administration. Business administration. Did yeah. you know much about Wesco? Before? No, I didn't. <laughs> and I was, you know, I always tell people that I lived without utilities for two years in the Peace Corps. So whenever I came back, I was very excited to, to work in them. I appreciated them a lot more. <laughs> okay, you really understand what it's like to be without. So what do you do for Wesco exactly? I manage the proposal pro process for the utility group. So anytime a utility such as Duquesne Light puts a bid out on the street, I'll get the proposal and I coordinate all of the efforts that go into uh, forming a complete proposal to, for submittal. So I work with our finance team, our legal team, our operations team, our pricing team to get all the pieces together to package it and get it um, submitted. It's been great. I love it. Yeah, and, and, I, and so what you're working in the smart grid space, but also in the electric car space? As well, yes. Uh, we're developing right now in the, the electric vehicle, the EBSE is the acronym, which stands for Electric Vehicle Supply Equipment. And in these products are to, to charge the uh, old electric or the plug-in vehicles that are being launched right now by the auto OEMs. So someday we'll be able to plug in our cars all over the place, right? That's the vision? That's right. the plan. All the vehicles that are being launched, they have different capabilities. Uh, some of them, they need to be uh, charge, they require more time to be charged. So according to the type of vehicle, there's going to be a charger. So we are developing the level one, level two, AC, DC right Your now. Your boss, Jerry Whitaker, was telling us about that uh, in the first segment of the show. Exciting that that kind of R&D is happening right here in our region. Definitely. Right now we already have some electric vehicle chargers, but we, we keep developing them. And, and you're in the utility space. It's becoming a real growth area for Wesco, right? Yeah, it's, it's becoming huge. We're getting involved with a lot of the investor-owned utilities across the country, um, forming alliance. And these are, you know, these are multi-million dollar alliances that we're forming with these uh, utility companies. And then sort of once you get into the Midwest, we get into a lot of public power and municipalities. Um, utility companies as well. Oh, so. Really exciting time to be, be in, in, in this space. Yeah. Well, th congratulations. It's great to see you, you found a job here that brought you home and uh, enabled you to stay here and you found your way uh, to our region from Mexico. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you both so much. Thank you Appreciate for having it. us. Yeah.